Hey, what's up guys? So the point of this video today is to explain slow motion and how it exactly works in the most beginnerish way I can explain it possible. So when I first started doing video, um, I had no idea how it worked. I just thought you could slow down any clip, but then I wondered why sometimes my clips would look really bad when they were slowed down. So what I'm gonna show you right now is two clips. One of them is doing it the right way, one of them is doing the wrong way. It might not seem plainly obvious. It's not the best clip that I could have chosen, but you'll see that one of the clips is really jittery. It's really, really blurry where there's movement and the other clip, it's a lot sharper. The slow motion looks a lot more real. So I'm gonna explain uh, why that is, why that happens and how you should film slow motion from now on. So wherever you live, you'll have like a pretty standard frame rate. Like here in Australia, we use 25 frames per second. And what I'm gonna do is explain what frames per second actually means first. Um, basically when you film something, 25 frames per second means that your camera pretty much takes 25 photos per second and that's what makes the video. So it's 25 frames in a second. Um, a lot of other countries use different frame rates like 23.9 something something and 24 but in Australia our standard cinematic frame rate is 25 frames per second. So what that means is my camera's taking 25 photos per second and that's what makes the video. Um, so in two seconds you'll have 50 frames, three seconds you'll have 75 frames, so on and so forth. So that's how it works. So Basically, what happens is if you shoot something in 25 frames per second, which is like I said before, it's the, pretty, it's the standard frame rate here in Australia. If you shoot something in 25 frames per second, you try to slow it down um, by half, so to 50%. The frames that you, there's no frames that exist. So what I'm saying is if you're, when you're editing on your timeline, so when I edit in my timeline, it's, it's usually 25 frames per second, because as I said before, that is the standard um, frames per second here. So when I'm filming in 25 frames per second, if I get that clip and put it in my timeline and I try to slow it down by half, my timeline has 25 frames per second and my footage has 25 frames per second. So if I try and slow that, um, you know, double, double slow down the speed, so half the speed, what I'm doing is trying to stretch this clip that's 25 frames per second. I'm trying to stretch that clip to double its length. And what happens is those, those frames don't actually exist. So the software that you're using to edit has to make them up and you you always get, well not always, but a lot of the time you get some like really blurriness or you get um, strange, you know, movements where you're, it's like really shaky um, or you'll get, you know, if I move my hand really fast like this um, and I try and slow that down, you might see like fingers over here when my hand's actually here because the software is just doing the best job it can to actually simulate the slow motion. Now the right way to actually do something in slow motion is to change your frame, frame rate if your camera is capable of doing that. So on the GH4 right here, I can film in 50 frames per second if I want to. And what that means is, like I said before, my frame, my uh, timeline I'm editing on and the video that I export will be 25 frames per second. So let's just say it's 20, this is 25 frames per second for instance, and I film in 50, so I've got this much. Now I can slow that down and it's true slow motion, it's real slow motion because the frames exist. What we're doing, we're getting those 50 frames and we're gonna be you know, halving the speed, so we're gonna compress that down to 25 frames quite easily, it's gonna work perfectly. Um, you can even, there's other frame rates like 100, fra 100 um, frames per second, 124, things like that. So you just gotta work out what you wanna do. The more frames you have, the slower you can go. Now keep in mind, um, a lot of people say to me, what's the best frame rate to shoot in? It's really hard to answer that because you really need to shoot in, you really need to shoot whatever you're gonna be using it for. So if I'm filming something and I want it to be normal speed and I'm not doing any slow motion, any speeding up or anything like that, I'll shoot in 25 frames per second. If I'm shooting something and I know I'm gonna make it a slow motion clip when I edit it, then I'll shoot it in 50 or more frames per second. Now, the problem with that is you can't always just, you can't just shoot everything in 25 frames per second or whatever, you can't just shoot anything in one frame rate and then be able to do whatever you want with it. You can, but the results just might not be what you expected. So you really need to know what you're gonna be shooting before you actually shoot it. So if you see something, you go, okay, I'm gonna shoot that in slow motion, um, then I'll make sure you set your camera up to shoot a higher frame rate, like 50 frames per second or higher. Um, but if you're shooting something that you want to be, you know, normal speed, just whatever, then that's 25 frames per second. Now the thing is as well, a lot of people say, oh, I'll just shoot in 50 frames per second all the time, so I've got the option to slow that down. You can do that, that's not a problem, but the thing that, the problem that does arise from that is that you now have 50 frames in a 25 frame timeline, 
if you try and play that at normal speed, your software actually has to drop half the frames because you've now got 50, but you're putting it in a 25. Uh, frames per second timeline so it'll drop every second frame so that can also result in jittery um, jittery action and things like that which isn't nice so like i said you really need to shoot in the frame rate that it's intended for so if you want slow motion you need to shoot a higher frame rate if you want normal motion you need to shoot in um, your standard frame rate like 25 24 23 whatever it may be um, so and you can find out what your your country or regions uh, you know normal frame rate is just by googling it and um massive bird oh, come on man so uh, so yeah it's it's quite simple once you get the hang of it but when i first started video i remember that i was i'd shoot things everything in 25 frames per second because i'd just leave the camera on whatever the hell it came with and i'd try and slow it down wonder right was the really really jittery and the slow-mo that was like fingers coming out of random places and i don't know what the hell was going on but yeah, once I learned about that, it all made sense. And it's really annoying because you do have to shoot, you do have to change your settings for whatever you're shooting, um, which is annoying, if, especially if you're shooting things on the fly, like you're just running and gunning, you're not really planning anything. That's when it can be a bit difficult because, you know, you might, you might have your camera set in 25 frames per second and you find a clip that you really love to slow down, it just doesn't work out for you. Like, like I said, you can slow it down. Some clips work really well. Others with a lot of movement perhaps don't really work very well. Um, but there is plugins for software like Adobe Premiere and things like that. There's one called Twixter or Twixter that helps to actually make up those frames in between a little bit better than Premiere does, but it's still not perfect all the time. So yeah, so you really got to shoot in whatever frame rate it's intended for. So like I said before, I've said this about four times now, but I'm just trying to stress it. If you want something normal speed, shoot in the normal frame rate of whatever it may be. For me, it's 25 frames per second. If you want something slowed down, then you need to shoot in a higher frame rate. So that's just the way it is. I usually leave my camera on 25 frames per second all the time, unless I know I'm gonna be shooting something slow-mo because I'd rather, it looks, shooting in 50 frames and then dropping 25 frames to bring it back down to normal, it kind of looks worse than just shooting everything in 25 frames and slowing something down a tad if I have to. So, um, and the less you slow it down, the better it looks. So if I shoot something in 25 frames per second and only slow it down, you know, slow it down 20%, so my clip speed is 80%, it doesn't look too bad. But trying to slow something down 50%, it's quite a big quite a big jump, so you sometimes get those really weird artifacts and things like that. So I hope that explains it clearly. I tried to be as simple as I could, because I remember when I first started out, it was a little bit hard to grasp the concept, but I hope I explained it. Um, if you've got any questions about it, let me know in the comments below and answer them as best as I can. Um, what I was gonna do in this video, but didn't bother doing it. I was gonna get my partner, Katie, to sit in with me, because she doesn't understand anything about like the slow motion thing and i was going to see if she understood it by the end but yeah i just decided to shoot it like this so hopefully it helped um let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and i'll see you guys soon thanks very much for watching